Hello and welcome to another CAD Dimensions Tech Tip. My name is Derek and today we're going to be talking about how to convert an imported part into a sheet metal part so that you can be able to flatten it. And in this case we're going to be talking about two different parts and two different features. The two different parts that we're going to be discussing is one part that already has bends and one part that does not have bends. And the two tools we're going to be using about are convert to sheet metal and insert bends. Most people just like to use the convert to sheet metal tool because it's obviously the one that says convert to sheet metal, but insert bends can work in a pinch if convert to sheet metal uh, does not. In this case, we're going to start off using the insert bends tool just to show you a slight differences between the two. So in this case, I'm going to use the insert bends tool and I'm going to select on the fixed face. And if I try and hit OK, it's going to tell me that no bends were found. That's all right. Uh, we're going to have to go back in and edit it further. So we're going to use the insert bends tool. We're going to select on our fixed face and our rip parameters, we're going to go ahead and specify these trailing edges. So in this case, you can see that the dialog or the highlight comes up or preview for the rip edges tool. You can rip, um, you don't have to rip directly in this tool. You can rip before you use the bends. But in this case, I'm going to use the functionality built right into the insert bends. And then once we go ahead and hit OK, you can see that auto relief cuts were made. In this case, we can just go ahead and hit OK. And it actually creates this for us. In this case, you can see that it does flatten without a problem. So what I'm going to do now is delete everything out of the feature tree and start all over using the convert to sheet metal. So using the convert to sheet metal, you specify the same exact fixed face. We're going to try and say collect all bends. In this case, no pre-made bends were found. So you have to go through and select on the edges that we want to turn into bends. In this case, it will build us for us. And you can see automatically it knows what needs to be uh, ripped and what doesn't. So in this case, you can see that both of these edges are ripped like we saw using the insert bends tool. I'm gonna go ahead and hit okay. And as you can see, it pretty much builds the same model. The rip parameters were a little bit different between the two, but that's not nothing to worry about. So what I'm gonna do is hop into this other model that does have some sheet metal in it right now. I'm gonna go ahead and delete that out. So we're just dealing with an imported part and we're going to use convert to sheet metal and insert bends. Using convert to sheet metal first this time, I select on my fixed face and I go ahead and say collect all bends. In this case, because it already has bends on there, it was able to determine what is a bend. What is highlighted in pink is the bends that it did find. In this case, these are all the ones that, that we need that we can go ahead and hit okay. And it creates those for us. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete that out again and we're gonna use the insert bends tool. So the insert bends tool, we can just select directly on that fixed space because we don't, because all the uh, edges already are ripped, we don't need to add in anymore. So in this case, we're gonna go ahead and hit okay. It converts it to sheet metal and we can flatten it as well. So in this case, there really wasn't any difference uh, between the two. One didn't work better than another or so on and so forth. But in certain scenarios, you, you may have issues with convert to sheet metal that insert bends will work. So uh, when you run into it, be certain to try both of them. And uh, thank you for watching this CAD Dimension Tech Tip. Hope to see you again. Don't forget to check us out on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and our blog for more great content by clicking on the links in the description below.